Hello there and welcome back to Woodworker Express. Today I'm gonna to be showing you five tips on how to sand wood like a professional by hand. And we're starting now. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be showing you those five tips, but first let me show you the WE Preferred Sanding Sponges that will get you on this journey. Now Woodworker Express sells the medium sanding sponge, which these things are really awesome. They're very flexible, perfect for contours, but the medium will be considered more of a 60 grit sanding application. The fine would be considered a 100 grit sanding application. The super fine would be closer to 180. The very ultra fine would be considered more of a 220 grit sanding. And we've got the micro, which would be closer to 280 grit sanding, perfect for finishing. Now that that's out the way, these sanding sponges totally rock. And here goes tip number one. So tip number one is gonna be sanding with the grain. This is the ultimate number one cardinal rule in sanding, especially by hand. When you're going with the grain, all of your scratches will be hidden thanks to the grain of the wood. Tip number two, what grit should I start out with or what grit should I use? That is a really popular question and it all depends on your project that you're working on. So say you have a furniture piece you're repairing or you're refinishing and it's got a lot of heavy, heavy scratches in it, then the 60 grit sanding sponge would be a great starting point for that project. And then working from there, not skipping too many grits. So going from the 60 to the 100 to the 180 to the 220, that would be perfect. So along with this tip, you do not want to jump grits. And by jumping grits, I mean going from a 60 grit to 220 grit. 60 grit's gonna leave really deep scratches and you want something a little closer to that such as 100 grit as your next grit to take those scratches out. Tip number three, using padded sanding blocks or like this, flexible sanding sheets. These are backed with foam, which helps out really nicely when you're sanding the piece and it keeps the pressure more even. And especially on edges, these come in really handy. Which leads us to tip number four, how to sand those complex curved radius type pieces. These shapes would be considered your crown moldings, your door profiles, your inside radius of your raised panel doors, you know, anywhere that just a straight block will not get into, these pads work amazing for that. They very easily follow the contour and the shape and you just sand once again with the grain until it's nice and smooth. And that leads us to the final tip number five. That's easy. Subscribe to Woodworker Express YouTube channel. The one you're at right now. At the end of this video, they'll have a little button where you can push and you can subscribe it. Hit the bell for notifications. We will have more videos to help you out with your woodworking. See you next time. And once again, thank you for watching this video. Here are your three options. The one all the way in the right, that little circle with that woodworking guy. Look how handsome he is. Go ahead and click on him and you will be subscribed to this channel. And don't forget to check out one of these two videos to continue you on your DIY learning experience. We'll see you next time.